Crank Man on Deck. What's going on, everybody? This is your good fella, Young T Bell, coming with another podcast episode. Episode 11. I got, I'm gonna keep track this time. All right. So, this week's episode, I'm gonna tell a little, a little man training story, right? It's a story about um, when uh, I did my first short film and basically learning how to be more confident in myself and believing more so in my uh, abilities. More so on the video production side, right? So when I was, I want to say about 21, 22, young, no responsibility having T-Bell. That was me, right? So uh, this was my, I was at uh, Georgia Georgia Perimeter doing like short films and things like that. So I was getting ready to do my first short film, right? A good thing. For those of you who haven't seen it, be sure to check it out on my page, A Good Thing. It's about... 30 minutes or so with a lot of behind the scenes footage but just make sure you go check it out right so when i was doing this short film um i don't know what monster i was i I had birthed or was in me at that time i gotta get that drive back but man i was you know writing had the edits and the script and i was ready to film i was getting had all the equipment together had everything i was like on on the ball right had my actors had my uh we had crafty had catering and all that that short film was the bomb i don't care what nobody said that that film was the bomb and it was amazing and it was fire i don't care what nobody said but the thing was about that was uh when i was filming that short film um i asked a few people who wanted to be in the short film hey you want to be in the film they was like yeah let's do it so we was i was uh blessed the opportunity to do it you know did a few uh run through script revisions all that kind of stuff um filming that that production it was a lot it was literally one day and this was a short film so originally i just had like one scene all together written out and it was the part where like the husband and the wife were arguing um that scene was all i had wrote right so then we literally probably went back and forth and did that scene because i had to cut man oh T-Bell, what kind of monster you was on? I literally was going back and forth between the edits. And we probably filmed at least seven, eight hours that one night for that one scene. And we probably filmed it like at least 12, 15 times, right? Uh, so we did that. Then my aunt was like, my aunt and my mom, they had to got to talk. And they was like, yeah, we need to make this longer. So I wrote in another part of the script and all that kind of stuff. You know, I had the best lighting that I could afford at that time. Um, I was able to get a, my hands on a camera, the best camera I could at that time. Um, and I just made the best out of it, right? So when I did the video and I got the editing and I was looking at it and, you know, you start comparing yourself between other people. And I was just looking at it like, man, this thing, it ain't hitting like, you know, I'm thinking it's supposed to be like a Hollywood production. But like when I go back and look at it now, that junk was a lot of work. But I was so busy comparing myself to other people um, and other projects and people who've been doing short films and all that kind of stuff for like years. And I was just like, man, I don't, I don't know about this video. But my, my, my cast and my crew, my family, they was all like, they was so hype about it. Like they were so hyped. They were more hyped than I was about my own project and my product. Like it was so like that was probably my biggest like self-made project that I did under my belt. Right. So when I did it and I was halfway ed- through editing, I had everything lined up and I was just like, man, I could have had this better audio. Man, I could have had this microphone. I could have had this. The imaging could have looked like this, could look like that, whatever the case may be. I, I knew after I did it, I knew all of a sudden what I could have did or added to it and what I could have done to make it better. But. So like when before I finished editing the, the man training portion of the story, uh, I was coming downstairs, right? And my dad every morning. This was when I was going to community college every day, right? I would come downstairs. My dad would say, "Hey, how's the project come? How's the mo- the short film coming?" And I'd be like, "Man, it's alright." He'd be like, "What you mean it's alright?" And I just be like, "I'd be going, oh, whoa, it's me. Oh, I don't. It could be like this. I feel like the audio can be a little better. It don't look as visually appealing as other stuff I see online." And he was just like, "Oh, okay, my dad, right?" 
So what he did was every morning when I was in community college, I would make two things, eggs, oatmeal, and bacon every morning, faithfully. I don't know why. That's just what I did, right? So when I would do those things, I would warm like four or five pieces of bacon up. And my dad, one day, he uh, he asked me that question. We had was having that conversation. He was just like, oh, okay. So he got up, went in the cabinet, grabbed a phone, phone paper plate, and then he grabbed like a fine china plate, right? So he took two pieces of bacon. Put one piece on the paper plate, one piece of bacon on the china plate, right? So when he did that, I'm like, hold up, bro. You ain't put, you don't want this bacon. Y'all trying to eat healthy, nah. Don't you put in on this bacon, nah. This all me, bro, bro. So then he put the bacon on, on the two plates. He took some spinach out of the refrigerator, put it on the china plate, and then he just held up both plates, right? Like this. And I was just like, okay. And he was like, which one, if you could choose, what would you choose? And I was like, the one with the spinach on the china plate, right? He was like, but why? I was like, because it just looks, it just, I mean, it's, it just looks better. It's, it's presented. Like, the way you have it set up and presented, you know, I'm a, I'm, I would choose that one. He was like, but it's the same thing. I was like, yeah, but that one, it just, it just set up better and it just looks more appealing. He was like, oh, so you see what I'm saying here? I was like, nah, bro, I don't get it. I just, you know, I'm just thinking you got some spinach on a plate and a china plate and you got a paper plate. He was like, the thing about your project is um, you have, you know, what somebody else would think is an amazing project, right? But to you, um, you might think it's not the best project, but you take that project and like I said, this is the, the nice version. This is just the plain version, but you got to take it and present it as its best self, right? Basically saying taking the best of what you got, even if it, um, it, you know, it could be something simple or basic or whatever. And taking that same project and presenting it better than what you could because somebody else honestly would be wishing to even get close to where you are right now. And I was just like, oh, got it. From that day on, you know, I was kind of feeling myself because. I had, when I'll tell you, I was beating myself up doing that project because I was so busy comparing myself to what other people had done. I could have been years ahead doing, you know, if I had the right confidence. But he was just basically telling me, like, look, it's not about the, I mean, it's about the final product, but it's all about how you present the product. You know, it doesn't have to be all expensive and fancy and, you know, all this extravagant stuff. But he was just like, how you present it is how people will receive it. The reason you chose this bacon over this bacon is because I presented it better. Same product, it just was presented better for you to consume. I was just like, yeah, you're right. And uh, from that moment on, that helped me to see and start believing more in my video abilities. And like I said, I know I need to get back to doing my videos and stuff. But in that moment, it helped me want to want to be more um, confident in my abilities because it takes a lot of mental um, it takes a lot of mental space and mental strength to be uh, mentally strong enough to be like, OK, even if nobody else looks or watches or comments positively or nobody gives me positive feedback, it takes a lot to just 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 put it out there and get something done, whether somebody likes it or not. But it's like you have to be the audience of one. You have to be your biggest critic. You have to enjoy your stuff. And it's just like, even just like this podcast, it's like, I keep putting it out, you know, whether somebody watches, whether it's one person or two people or five people, I, just, I try and stop watching the views because I'm just trying to be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Making sure I put out the content, no matter if one or two people watch. And I know uh, that's how you'll get distracted because you'll be so consumed with other people and other people, what they're doing and how many views. It's like, I'm not trying to do all that. The lesson here is take whatever product you have or whatever you can get your hands on to get the product done and make it happen. Yeah, it's not the best. Yeah, it may not be the prettiest. Yeah, it might not be the most appealing, but it's something. The only way you're going to be able to grow from where you start is you got to plant the seed. The seed ain't always pretty. You hear what I'm saying? The seed ain't always pretty, but it's got to grow from something. And you got to lay that foundation some kind of way. You may not think it's going to be uh, worth worth the time and investment, but trust me, somebody's always watching, and somebody's all somebody always somebody's always watching in the background. You will be surprised the people that are watching you 
right now in your life. Somebody is watching you right now. They not going to say nothing. People not don't. This is the thing about y'all. Now I'm not, I'm not even trying to go on a rant, but this is the thing about people. Some people will be like, yeah, bro, I'll look up to you. Or, yeah, sis, I look up to you and I'll be watching you and I take notes from you and all this kind of stuff, right? Giving people, I guess, they flowers. But there's other people in the background. They watch videos. They might not like. They may not comment, but they be watching. They be checking you out there, whether they hating or they supporting. But they'll watch. Like, people that watch my podcast. And I probably would never know who it is. Of course, like, you know, you can't see who every person is that views. But it's people that you just be like, okay, you know, this person's watching. That person's watching. But... People be watching. They will work. They will watch you grow, or they will watch you fall. Either way, people be watching. They got their eyes on you. You know, you gotta just take what you got and run with it. Make the best of your situation. Don't drag. Don't be woe when it's me. Don't be pitying yourself. You just gotta pick up whatever you got, whatever you can get your hands on, and make that thing happen. All right. I don't know the title of this one gonna be, but believe in yourself. Take what you got, make the best of it. It's all about presentation. How you present the prod- product is how people will receive it. If you don't believe in your product or yourself, how will somebody else receive it? All right, I'm done. My wife upstairs waiting on me. I'm tired. The baby up there, hopefully he's asleep. No bueno. Yeah, I'm done talking. Till next time, I have been your man, T-Bell. If you like this episode, if you can relate to anything that was said, if you were inspired. Like I say, I know some of y'all be watching. So let me just say thank y'all. I don't know who y'all, some of y'all might comment, some of y'all might like and share. But thank you, whoever you are. If you watch this and you never say anything, but you just consume good content, I appreciate you. All right. I've been your man, T-Bell. Thank you for watching the Man Training Podcast, episode 11. Until the next time, go be great.